Who do you think I am, Sega? Who do you think we are? Do you think we deserve- Welcome back to New Sakura Wars! I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. We got a lot of side stuff to do today, so let's just get right to it. First up on the list is Clarice's romantic tete-a-tete event that you can see how excited I am to partake in. Alright, all we have to do is, you know, open a book and then she'll be all over us. Oh, it seems there's a bit of discourse going on in the archives. Judging by the exaggerated the exaggerated motions and the tense music. <laughs> no, I was just thinking of Kamiyama's just wide open stare, his non blinking thousand yard stare. So Margareth, in her mission to bring everything down because she's so dissatisfied with her own life, is basically calling the books moldy. <laughs> You know, they can hold precious sentiments and still be moldy. That's seriously the insult we're going with? Yeah. You no might... wonder your performances are so stale. You might as well have just said these picture books are nothing but for children. Hey, Niskel, your game collection smells like Cheetos. No wonder why your Let's Plays always reek of GAMER! What? No! How could you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do absolutely nothing, and I'm just going to accept all the insults because I am the bigger combat review. There's no I way just, you can hurt my feelings. I just <laughs> want to kick her. I just want to kick this annoying character. <laughs> I just want to kick her <laughs> into a wall. Clarus, no! Don't cry over your books. Don't do it. <laughs> Oh, what grade are we in? Precisely. <laughs> Wait, that was the ten of ten? I did that mainly for a bromide. Oh, really? Oh, that's not a waifu. Get that out of here. Now the ten of ten continues as we leave. Oh, seriously? We have to, like, comfort her after her books got insulted? Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? No. That's like telling me that my Pokemon on my Game Boy are stupid back when I was in like first grade. And even then I was like, oh, okay. I, I could I could shut Margaret down with one word. Your books are moldy and smelly. That's why your performances are so stale. Hey, what's the matter, Margaret? They too uh, high of a grade level for you? Well, some was... of these books actually some of these books actually have words that have five syllables in them. Well, I was just thinking, oh, you know something about moldy and old. You've been talking to Elise lately? But fortunately, she's taking this anger and she's going to write she's going to jot down a script. That's okay. Use your sadness and your anger and your indignation and turn it into great art. That's what everybody does. I I mean so... if, I, if I start to hear operatic music and her writing in a death note, I think that would be a really great increase in Claris. Like that would make me love her. I'm just glad we're talking with somebody else for once. Hey, wait, yeah, that's a great thing. A change of scenery, even though she's a blonde ditz who loves books. So now we're trying to think of a theme for our uh for the play that she's writing here. Let's see, uh, mm -hmm. Holiday and Naples. Oh, romance novel. You can, you can make a romance play. God, everybody loves romance plays. I mean, who doesn't love a good steamy romance in the theater? Uh-huh, and this is how the tete-a-tete -tete starts off, which means we're basically going to push her on the bed and show her how this play ends. <laughs> Please stop making me think I'm right. You're right, but you're wrong. Fuck! And you're wrong in the right ways, and right in the wrong <laughs> ways. <laughs> okay, so not on the bed, but we'll at least put her in a chair or something like that. <laughs> Tie her to the bedpost, and, you know, and it's a different kind of play we're going for here. So, she'll go with the romance. Mm -hmm. and she will go with real-life experiences. Now... Clarice here is the biggest book nerd you know, right? Right. 
bigger a book nerd than me, and I'm, you know, not a B grade book nerd. She's like triple S rank book nerd. Oof. You're telling me that out of all the books that she reads, she knows nothing about romance. You know, even in books that are like high fantasy or have no, like, there's always romance in a book, most likely. You know what book changed my life? Wait, was that asking what her chest size is? Fuck off! Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're Fuck trying off. to figure out, you know, the, the heroine of this, and it's clear what they're trying to do here. We got the Claris answer, the Sakura answer, and the Goofy answer. Shave your head! It's, it's, it's clear what they're trying to do here. But the book that changed my life was, you know, a Redwall book called Martin the Warrior. It was a fun little adventure novel with like you know mice and little woodland creatures and swords yes. and shit like that it was it was great i remember Love redwall and the heroine dies at the end what the heroine dies at the end she throws herself on the big bad guy in the final battle he throws her against the wall and she just like dies immediately oh no so then grief stricken and feeling somewhat responsible our main hero goes down south and starts the events of the rest of the of the Red Wall series. And that and that like intrigued me, fucked me up. It 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 did things to me when the heroine died like that. It's like, man, books are really good after all. <laughs> There's nothing more powerful than a good story. Apparently the the stories just kinda wash off of Claire's because she learns nothing from them. So are you telling me we both practically let's played at around the same time two betrayal games where the story was just abysmally bad? Yeah. Can, can you, like, avert your eyes for a second? Yeah, you can zoom. I saw the are camera zoom in me? a little bit, so... That's fucking weird! What, what, what are you writing there, Claris? Can I look over your shoulder? Can I look at something other than this? How about if I read? You know, all these books to read. You can read them. There you go. Uh, yeah. And it actually said, I can't I can't spend this entire time just staring at her butt. I gotta do something else. How about literally anything else? <laughs> I fucking love this. I, I really like how you're trying your best to be a gentleman, but the game is so against you. Because the game thinks I'm some kind of degenerate or something like that. It's like, don't you want to see her ass? No, because she'll hate that, and I'll feel bad about myself. I think the best part is I would do this on purpose if we were playing this live. Just to get a reaction from you and a reaction from the game. That... Hi. But... So... Um... Uh... Uh, uh, head pats. Here, how about give a gift and the date or whatever. <sighs> Man, Romeo and Juliet. Diary of Izumi Shikibu. Great expectations. I mean, if you read all these great romance novels, you can totally get, get inspiration, you know. The staring. I, I can't stand the staring as you're just trying to think of topics to, you know, say to her. And you're just eyeballing every part of her body, just thinking, what can I say? Um, um, that's a great, uh, chest you have! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 God! <laughs> you must have had some good genes for a keister like that, yeah! <laughs> you remember that time I just stared at your ass while you jotted down notes? That was pretty funny. I'm not expecting fucking Sakura to come bursting in going, WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! She's looking through the, f the ceiling tiles. Is he with another girl? Yeah, I mean, it'd be 
you know, we're having a tete-a-tete -tete with Claris. That means that we're not doing something with Sakura. This is good. It'd be kind of dumb if there was another tete-a-tete -tete moment with Sakura in the same chapter. Hell yeah. Mmm. You know, I, I kind of want to see Kamiyama look slightly over to the right and just see Sakura's eyes at the bottom of the window. Can I poke them out? You're damn right we're ready for a big climax. Hope you're All ready right. for this tete-a-tete -tete to end with a All bang. Right. Here we go. How should we approach such an emotional scene? All right. Show me. Uh... Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Hi! How did we get here? <laughs> I have a feeling you have plenty of experience being pushed over yourself, but I guess not when only, you do it to me. Right. Not only do I have enough, you know, real life experiences, I've seen enough <laughs> anime experiences, and imagine just how chilling this scene would be if Ka if Kamiyama, pinned down by this girl, just kind of gently puts a hand on her shoulder and goes, Claris, you know you shouldn't attack your superior officer like this. That'd be... Inappropriate. <laughs> All right. Well, well, it's it's acting. So uh, <clears throat> look into my eyes. Look into my eyes, darling. Fuck me. Fuck me raw. Slam <laughs> <laughs> your dick into my pussy. All, all of a sudden, there's just a cartoonish like smoke cloud, and you just see clothing fly everywhere. <laughs> it just goes everywhere. <laughs> Oh, no! Yeah, she just constantly is, like, deep breathing all over me. <laughs> and it just cuts to a, a different camera of Kamiyama just wide-eyed, just going, OP! Is this still acting? Look into my Grab eyes, kiss me! Oh, I just can't do it! Grab her and push her into your face. Alright, I'll finish with this. Just a little little bit. Just just, just the right amount. Abo almost above a whisper. I love you. Skida. But of course you can't do it because she's a fucking prude, like this whole game is. When you're so good at acting, that you forget where the acting stops, and the real-life romance begins. Like, this writing feels like it's a chick tract. <laughs> God, I haven't heard about those in ages! I found one at the post office the no other way. day. No way! There was one, like, on the counter, I'm like, oh my god, a real chick tract! <laughs> Holy shit! It looks stupid! <laughs> It was, it was like, what is it, like a, a new Christ or something? Something oh, ridiculous. Oh, God. It's like, oh, there's multiple Christs? Oh, I, I guess I could just pick one that I like then. I mean. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, I kind of like that, Ted Ante, if only because it gives us plenty of material to work with. Hey, Anastasia, they got a blue exclamation mark. That means you want something. Hi, right, do you. Do you want me as much as Claris does? So this is Anastasia's room. A little, oh. a little on the bare side. Yeah, minimal. That's because she's new. Well, I thought she was gonna keep, like, the minimalistic attitude. She's like an Apple store. But, out of everything, the first thing she puts up is a star chart. So you like stars, huh? Hmm. Oh, she's a stargazer. Because she lives among the stars. <laughs> oh, no jewel could ever match the beauty of a star. Did you know that some stars are already dead? <laughs> are you trying to destroy her dreams? Do you know they're just burning balls of gas? Speaking of burning balls of gas, you just rip a big fart <laughs> right in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst case scenario is if she actually started laughing, like your whole plan backfired. And yeah, I get points. That would create some drama, <laughs> wouldn't it? That, that... Uh, like, like imagine prim, proper, noble Anastasia 
likes lowbrow fart jokes. <laughs> you get an achievement saying cutting the cheese and breaking the ice. <laughs> By the way, did this give you, like, any points at all? No. It's just saying I, hi? It's just saying hi. I, I think it's it sets up a scene later, I think. Oh, and I, okay. and I think there may have been a chance for me to lose points. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just setting you up for more failure, just what this game loves to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, did you ever research on that missing bromide? Did you, like, truly miss it? Yeah, I truly missed it. In fact, we missed two. Ah, oh, damn it. We're gonna miss a lot more. So, which means I'm gonna have to go start a new game plus game and find all the missing bromides. Hell yeah. Wait, don't jump! No! Don't do it! I haven't decided how much effort I'm gonna put into this Let's Play yet. Oh, that's fine. If you can find the images, you could probably show them, like, right now. Or show like, them where they would be. Am I gonna go all the way, or am I just gonna do as much as to get me through? Because I feel like if I go all the way, that means I will have truly defeated this game. Hey, if you're gonna go all the way, might as well with your favorite girls. I'm gonna have to- if I go all the way, I'm gonna have to do all of them. Ugh. I don't know, how many playthroughs is that? Like, six? I think five. But, uh, Azami! is moving her way up to second place already, because she's like, Margareth is a spy, I must kill her. <laughs> and I'm like, um, I like where your head's at, but maybe we shouldn't do that right away? Yeah, do it in battle so it looks like an accident. But yeah, Sealing Her Secrets is a big problem, you know? She, she's she got she's got the home base in mind. But, you know, you, you, you can't kill her, not here, it's during the day, there are people here, there's witnesses, you know, it's just, just real messy. But if we can pass her test, then she'll do whatever we say. Just Are catch you... her kunai. Oh. Uh, okay. Get ready for quick time events. All right. Bring it! And... She's really, uh, gonna, really gonna throw a fucking kunai at me. She's gonna kill me. Aiming for the jugular. If we adjust it just right, like about like right, right there. Oh really? Yo! <laughs> right, right through the hand. Nope, we got it. Oh my god! So wait a minute, this was all a diversion just so we didn't have to see a scene between a lolly German and a ninja maid? So that she wouldn't kill her, which would have been really funny. I mean, if you could, like, scare her a bit, like three kunais <laughs> block off the left, right, and the forward, that'd be pretty funny. I'm sure you got some ninpo that could probably fuck with her for a couple days. Just to check, well, bromides only show up in certain parts of chapters, so that Rosa, that uh, Rosarita bromide we cannot get until the new the new game plus playthrough, and that's really sad. There's another well, bromide outside of the the mochi shop out in town that we can't get now. Well, uh, are you, if you're able to find them, I would say just post them here and say, oh look, here's what we missed, and here's where to get them. See, I'm not even thinking that far ahead. We got a lot of shit to deal with. <laughs> Oh, let's take a look at this one. Okay. So we got a zombies, because, yeah, she earned it with that there. Protecting the house, killing an annoying character. You know, I like her already. Sup, cheater? Still upset about the announcers. Yeah, all we gotta do is win and then gloat in their dumb, stupid, fat faces. You know, I can't wait until we get further on in the game and we get an updated nickname. We go from Usher Crusher to Heartbreaker. Dream Maker. Love Taker. Don't you mess around with me.
Another bromide check. Hey, Itsuki. Do you want to play Koi Koi? Every time you lose, you take off an article of clothing. Lose enough times, and you know, you're gonna have to pay with something. That's right, all the bromides I missed! So she's just in her bra and panties at this point, and you go, huh, I win again! And she's like, oh man, she tears off a layer of skin. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh god! Uh. uh You know, I never understood why a lot of artists would, you know, do dark, depraved things to cute moe girls. Now I think I do. Alright, let's do our uh, promotional thing that we gotta do. You know, I really being, want... head, being head of PR and all that. Can we really have this elephant do, like, give subliminal messages to kids walking by? It's like, kill your family. Remember, kids, the workers have the means of production! Welcome to the Circus of Value! Ha 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 ha! I very much count on your support. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> faster, faster. Jack that up to 11. Ever heard of a derm? Like a like a pachyderm? I was going to say whenever you move, make sure you pack a derm. <laughs> and ha ha punchline he spun and he got dizzy and nobody reacted damn it I wanted the better punchline where the elephant just goes flying off the stand it's just just Gives me nothing to work with. Nice oh, hey! Oh, what's up, beautiful? Hey, ya! Pun me, woman! This is all she does. All she'll do for this whole game sit here at this table, make puns, and eat a specific dish. A gorgeous crimson maiden lying beneath a golden yellow gravestone. Hmm. Do you know what that is? I believe it is curry. Ha, wrong. What? Well, then what are my options? It's omurice! Yeah, sure. Exactly. Mm. That's a pretty good yoke you got there, Hakushu. You know, I played this game on the on the easiest difficulty setting. But that's beneath me now. I am now over easy. Over easy. I couldn't think of one fast enough, but that was totally in my brain. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just a, at a loss for words. My brain is scrambled. I wonder how they got that elephant into the uh, into that pad. It must have been poached. <laughs> well, that's a dark overtone. <laughs> By the way, what is omu rice? I think uh, it is rice and egg and ketchup. Okay. I mean, I've heard of like omelets with ketchup, but never rice. I figure if there's anything else to it. Let me, let me look it up. Oh, wow. Sometimes it's stuff with, like, vegetables and shit. 
Ooh. So it's basically an omelette with rice. Essentially. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. <laughs> she looks like she's just blissfully unaware of everything else going on and she's just enjoying her time. I don't know why I'm here, really. I mean, I got lost halfway here and decided, you know what? I think I'll just chill here. Bye, Hakushu. I'll miss you till the next time. I'll see you in chapter four. Don't forget me. Alright, uh, next... Bromide was in the dressing room, but soccer is in there, so I'll wait. Yeah, you stay away from her! So, Shalong's here. What do you think he's doing? Uh, tampering with our entire review and trying to get as much information as possible to destroy us from the inside out. Oh no, he's 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 doing what he what he does best: belittling us and making fun of us. Oh, so just normal. How can you guys be so weak when you've got such a massive spirit crystal? Wow, what a dick. And thank you, Hatsuho, for this scene, because now I can finally give him a piece of my mind. It's a gigantic paperweight! <laughs> oh, them's fighting words. You know, Xiao Long. <gasps> oh my god, a spine! You need to show some respect, you little yes. turd fucker! Yes! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> Is this guy a YouTube commenter? You ever, you ever heard of the term Schrodinger's douchebag? <laughs> oh, the, the douchebag is there, but also not there. It's only a joke when people get offended. Ooh, that's... that's brilliant. So whenever he says a joke, it's in a state of kidding and not kidding. You know, I kind of like that. Because a lot of people on the internet choose to use Schrodinger's douchebag. I didn't think people would be offended by this. I was just joking, guys. God. What you should do is do the real thing. It's like, sorry, I thought it was funny at first. I realized it wasn't. My bad. I retract that statement and that joke, and I will flog myself in the bathroom. Well, maybe yeah, not that last part. Uh, apparently, you can just get away from any type of negative press if you just say, It was a joke, guys. Come on. It's me, your boy. I was just joking around. And the brainless masses go, Okay. You gotta make a apology video on YouTube. Oh, that's true. And <laughs> hey, guys. I'm <sighs> hey, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I said those 15 different racial slurs in 20 seconds like that. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that I made fun of my editor, who is dead now. Oops. I'm sorry I called all you people BOO! <laughs> you know what? Just double down. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be a piece of shit, you might as well do the thing you're apologizing for in your apology video. So, we just got sent out to go get some candy. Wait, when did this pop up? Just oh, now. That was, uh, that was just now, okay. Kaido told us to go get some sweets. But I thought we had no money! Yeah, we, we have less than nothing. I mean, we probably have some money now, but do we have enough to really spend it on really big treats like this? I'm trying to find the, the other bromide that's supposed to be by the store, but... It's not there anymore. Hi, wife. Can I please have sweets? So I thought I had to, like, memorize what she wanted. But nope, it's just, just a scene saying, Oh, I know, Kaoru, everybody knows each other, yeah. Can, can you... Can you join our combat review? I kinda want you there more than the girls we have. Sakura, you're delegated to janitor duty. Like, this girl's just so wholesome. I love this woman. Yeah, she's alright. She's delegated to a storefront 
because the personality police came in and said, no, you have too much of a personality. You're a side she, character yes. now. She also is just there. Oh, I see something. Oh, wait. <gasps> I couldn't even see that. It blended it with the ground. Orihime Soleta! Damn, what a name. God, all these characters are so much better than the losers we have now! <laughs> it's not fair. Oh. Two types of Sakura mochi. Sakura? That's a person we have in our in our review. One uses horse meat, right? Because the <laughs> Sakura we have in our group is certainly a mare. No, sir. That's McDonald's versus Burger King. Please get it right. Which one uses the horse meat? Yes. Uh. Uh. Trade secret. That's classified. All right. Uh. Looks like uh. Anastasia's, Anastasia's Kabuki show is done with, and we can go bother oh. her now. That was a great show, Anastasia. I'm glad I saw every bit of it. I saw an amazing play called Pat to Nirvana. Hmm. That's what I'm on right now when I'm sitting through Soccer Wars. I'm on that path to Nirvana, man. I uh, bet we can just kind of lean back and just mm -hmm. uh, not off for a couple minutes because it's blah 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 and I don't even think there's any choices or anything here. Just, just, uh... Hey, is this uh, summer in Japan? Uh, what, uh, Te technically, isn't this summer in Japan? Uh, probably, I mean, yeah. Doesn't it get extremely hot during the summers in Japan? I don't know how hot it gets, you know. Can get hot. Maybe like humidity is what I'm thinking of. Well, I gotta say, it's it's a shame you guys invented LCD screens, but not air conditioning. I mean, we should be sweating balls right now. It is extremely humid over there. Like, I thought it was bad over here in the states, in a state that can't make up its bloody mind on what temperature it wants to be. But humidity is deadly, man. Oh. oh, embarrassing to cry in front of people. We, okay, we have one question. Just one. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it just proves you have emotions. Of course it's embarrassing, a little bit. Wrong answer. I can already tell. Correct answer! Oh, wow. Show that you have emotion, but you also have some humility. It's like, uh, it's embarrassing, but, you know, it's just, it's just so beautiful, I mean. Huh. I mean, I've done that before. I've cried a Titanic twice. <laughs> Fucking Klaus got to me, man. It's a great film. <laughs> Fucking Coco. Playing the song for her at the end, that that got me. That got me hard. I can't think of too many others. Maybe I'll have to watch more films. Uh, the reveal in Knives Out, that that brought me to tears too. Just, just a little one, in the corner. Oh, oh, that was pretty nice. Glistening. That's what this game needs, a murder mystery. Someone needs to get killed. I'm not <laughs> saying it should be Sakura, but... No, no, but then that would be the war. Who killed Sakura? I will go to war for my dead waifu. Boy, could you imagine if she just dies halfway through the game? Spend all this time just giving her shit, just yelling at how much I hate her, and then she dies. And now, oh, do you take all that back? Do you feel bad now? You but, know, that would be, but that would be a move that would further the narrative power of video games, and they do not have the ambition to do that. They just want some anime fluff to keep weebs happy for a few years, so they stop asking about Sakura Wars. And to think we could have had a new Jet Set Radio, but no, we got this. To think they could have made Sonic Adventure 3 the way it was meant to be, but nope, we got this. I mean, if you build up a character enough, having them die halfway through the game can actually be... A pretty powerful moment. 
there's no build up to these characters. They're just one plus one. So imagine. Imagine if you had your five girls, one of them dies, and we get revenge, we grieve, we mourn and all that, but we still need to fill the empty seat. So who do you choose? Hmm. I wonder if we could steal one of the girls from the other combat reviews. Yeah, like, out of these three girls, you can bring one of them into the, into the review. Who's it gonna be? Hmm. Why are you talking? <laughs> she hates you! That's no, just a way to berate the male character, because that's comedy. This game wouldn't know comedy if it kicked it in the ass. Actually, you know, from a programming standpoint, I think that would be very interesting if you were to have a character death, but it wasn't the one you had the most points with, or the least amount of points with, dead center. Hmm. And what happens if you're going for that 100% run where you change fate and everybody has the same amount of points during that dynamic day? Nobody dies and fate changes. I, w I was literally not paying attention during this part, so I'm like, bug it. Uh, uh, well, I wasn't uh, paying attention, so let's uh, let's go for broke. Ranbu, the wild dance. Passion. Let's lose ourselves and dance. Wh why would I want to know what? T then they're like, whoa. And I lost points for that. I'm getting such a judgmental look from Sakura. Why? Got a better idea. How about you fuck off and Sakura, you're fired. <laughs> Wait a minute. Have you noticed we always get, like, berated for showing emotion? For, like, you know, being the fun captain? Oh, but they can show emotion all they want. They can be as irrational and as crazy as they want to be. No, they don't. Hatsuho's the only one with an actual, like, lick of emotion. Oh, I remember that time that Sakura screamed at us because we were so, quote-unquote, indecisive about everything, and then she ran off and started doing swings in the fucking stage, and we had to go, Hey, Sakura, it's okay. It's just, just... Th that was just a middle-of-the-road yell. There wasn't even any, like, crescendo or anything like that. She just said, you're an idiot, Baka, and then ran off to the stage. That wasn't emotion. <laughs> Excuse me, let me, let me grab Cutest a pedestal quote. for our amazing Sakura. <sighs> it's like we can't do anything without saying how fucking wonderful Sakura is. <laughs> grab that pedestal, baby. We're putting her on it. You know what they say, Famil familiarity breeds contempt, while well, I have plenty of contempt, my friend. <laughs> it's kind of like a joke you hear too many times, people stop laughing at it. Wow, time flew. Alright, well, there shouldn't be that much left to do. So, uh, the world game should- Oh! You need a favor. You need some help means the units help the hangar. Try not to take forever. Oh! All right. Cool. So, uh, what, what what else do we have here that we can do? Let's take a look at the. Oh my goodness! Holy shit! There's still oh so much God. shit to do. All and right. a ten and ten with soccer. Oh God. no way! No, yes. no, 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 yes. no, you gotta no, do it, dude. no. Do that ten a ten. All right, fine. But we're gonna save that for next time on New Soccer Wars. What? No, no, no. <laughs>